Hey everyone, Marcel here from Tiger Auto. And today I'm super excited to share with you our latest project, which if you're an Overlander, you're in for a treat. Introducing our Overland Bed Rack Series, which is available in both a full-size and also a mid-size version, which we're gonna be showing you how to install that today on a Toyota Tacoma. What makes our bed rack different from the others in the market is our patent-pending V-bracing construction. Not only does it make the rack system that more robust to support overlanding gear and tents, but the V-shaped design also gives your truck a much cooler distinctive look on and off the road. Also, I wanna point out that there's no drilling involved when installing this rack. So with that being said, let's go ahead and show you guys how we get it done. Before we begin, please make sure that all the parts in the hardware are accounted for and remove any tonneau covers and accessories that are installed near the top panel railings. First off, pick out the five different foam strips and apply them to these corresponding mounting tabs. Then, go ahead and connect the two front support arms with a crossbar without tightening the hardware. Adjust the width of the assembly until each side sits comfortably on the railings. Now do the same for the rear support arms. Moving on, connect each side rails with the front and rear support arms. Again, don't tighten up the hardware until we make the final adjustments. Next, take the remaining crossbar and install these two brackets underneath on both ends. Now you can attach it to the center slots on the side rails like this. Next, grab and install the V-plates on both sides of the assembly. Finally, finish off the frame by installing the mounting brackets to the bottom of each V-plate. Now let's go over how to secure the frame assembly to the panel railings. First of all, this rack is designed for trucks with or without utility tracks and comes with different sets of hardwares for the two scenarios. So, if scenario one, if your truck has a utility track and sits under the railing like this Tacoma, slide these block nuts into the tracks to line up with the mounting tab like this. Otherwise, scenario two, if there's no utility track or if your track sits lower and clears the mounting tab, you will use these clamping blocks instead between the railing lip and the mounting tab. Since this comes with the tracks, we'll go ahead and install the hardware without tightening. These are available if you wish to drill into the railing and install the remaining hardware. This is completely optional for you and it does not affect the load capacity of the rack. Before you finish, make final adjustments to each connection and when you're happy, tighten all the bolts and then you're done. 